Welcome to Ask the Expert. Today we have the pleasure of being joined by Jennifer Wrigley, Product Application Manager with Olympus. Well, thanks for joining us, Jennifer. Thanks for having me. Um, so, we've been uh, moderating a lot of our social media with the microscopy and some of the material science people. And some of the questions that we're seeing are about uh, particle counting for uh, cleanliness verification. Mm -hmm. Does Olympus have a solution for this? Yes, we actually do. We have a way of automatically counting particles as part of the cleanliness verification. Okay. And to help people understand, what is, clear, uh, I mean, uh, what is cleanliness verification? So it's a good question. So automotive manufacturers as well as aerospace manufacturers and their suppliers actually, um, to, just to name a couple examples, they will actually do a cleanliness verification as part of their manufacturing process. Okay. So whether they're manufacturing engines or specific components that go into that engine, they want to make sure that it's clean so that it w when it runs, um, it's going to run as expected and it's going to be safe for their users. And so that process is to wash those parts, um, rinse that fluid through a filter medium, and then the residual particles will be on top. So Olympus's uh, portion of that process is to put that filter media on top of the microscope, use a motorized stage, and automatically count all those particles. So what, are, what type of results can they get out of that process? So uh, Olympus, the microscopes are a part of the sampling process. What type of results can you expect from that? So every company is going to either follow an international standard for particle counting or an internal standard. And all that means is they're going to have a maximum amount of particles allowed of a maximum size. Okay. And so our software will automatically count all the particles in the filter media and then be able to classify it within specific size bins based on that standard criteria okay. so that an operator can easily see whether or not that specific run has passed or failed, has too many particles, um, or is, is clean, and then they can feed that in, that information back to their production line, or they know if they need to reduce the rewashing. Can you tell what type of particles they are? So you can't actually, we don't have any elemental analysis. We can't tell whether it's rubber or plastic or aluminum or copper, for example. But what we can do is we can determine whether or not it's um, reflective or non-reflective. Sure. So and we can do that with polarizers within the microscope and that allows us to be able to differentiate between those hard or soft particles which is reflective or non-reflective. Very good. So this really seems like a very important part of the process of manufacturing. Absolutely. It, it, I mean, it goes hand in hand with product quality and product safety which to those manufacturers and the suppliers to those manufacturers, that means a lot because you know, the general public is using a lot of their, their products and components. Sure, absolutely. absolutely. Well, thanks for joining us today. Again, this is one of the neat things about this show is I'm able to learn more about our products and how people are using them. So thanks for joining us again today. Absolutely, thanks for having me. And thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, please visit our social media channels or visit olympus-ims.com. Thanks.